Now then, Kanzashi flowers. I hope you I said, said it. I said Yay. it. <laughs> oh, I've been practicing that. Uh, listen to can listen to us how to teach Leon how to say Kanzashi flowers. Not gonna That's lie. Why she's got the I've got the in package her in here in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't trust myself. Um, phew. um what is a can Kanzashi? What is a Kanzashi flower? It's a flower. Petal. It's a flower petal. It's a flower. So you've got all sorts of so flowers. Are all these, these under are the same all, umbrella? They're all under the same umbrella. There's just lots of different Ooh. types of Kanzashi flower makers. So you have rounded petals, you have pointed petals, long ones, fat ones, short ones, thin ones. It's all different. Oh, it's and just there's like loads. Life. Isn't it sweet? Yeah, and these there's are loads lovely. you can do with them. So and they're dead easy. These could be, obviously, um, you've got a pin on that. So we're it's thinking jewellery, we're jewelry. thinking embellishing, Absolutely. hair, um, hair products, what's on shoes, yeah, on, clothes. Um, you could have bracelets, like you said, jewellery, you could have them on tie backs, yeah. you could make bunting out of them, oh it's endless. Look at that, and these, so these are all Suffolk puffs and I brought Suffolk puffs with me today because it's pretty much the same principle. Okay. So I want and you to understand you use them in the same so you way. can use them in exactly the same context. So I have brought some Suffolk puff makers with me because they're so very similar to what we're going to be doing with okay. our Kanzashi flower oh, makers. I love that okay? one as well. That's gorgeous. Isn't it? And that's, yeah, a, that's, that's a Suffolk puff that's using this and stuffing it and putting it on the centre of it. Fabulous. So there's loads so mix of mix and match. match. Mix it all up, Ma bring it all together. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, how do and I do it? And there's lots of different shapes. Right. right, okay. Now, I'd like you to take a look at this. So basically, let me undo this. Right. When you're looking at your Kanzashi flower maker, they come in all different shapes, okay? And they have on them, there's always a start and it's got a number one by it. Okay. And there's always a finish, and it's got a number eight, nine, 10, 11, whatever the, the last number is. Right, okay. okay, so it's one to whatever. So it's one to whatever. Mm -hmm. And you've got numbers on the front, and you've got numbers on the back. Excellent. And it's as simple okay. as this, right? Right. So you get your fabric. So, so any fabric? Any fabric. Okay. You're better off using fabric with a smaller print. Right, yeah. Because if the bigger the print, the bigger the pattern, you're just going to lose it because it's yeah. all folded anyway. Right, yeah, Okay, of so use either plain or small pattern fabric. Okay. Right, now, so the idea is you are going to put some fabric into this section here and then fold it over. Okay. okay. So I've literally, gr it's a great way of using scrap. We are just about to say that. Brilliant way of little, using um, scrap. The charm pack. That brilliant, you can get. brilliant absolutely for brilliant. Packs, oh, and um, jelly rolls. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So all I've got here really is a strip of fabric. Okay, it's okay. a piece of fabric which I've folded in half. Yeah. And then you just finger press it along the edge. Okay. Right. Yeah. Now Easy. what we're basically doing is we are putting the piece of fabric into the Kanzashi flower maker. Okay. And we're gonna and that's with the um the press bit in at the yeah, joint. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna explain that next. Basically sorry. you click that's fine, darling. You jump in the sea, you know, see you oh, know. So you click it shut and what you've got to make sure is that your folded edge is yeah. in the groove and the inside. Okay. Okay, and just pull it up each side a little bit to make sure it's in properly. Right, okay. excellent. Make sure you get yourself a really nice pair of fabric yeah. scissors. Yeah, and, and do keep not them... let a paper crafter touch them. No, don't, on pain of death, you don't yes. touch my fabric yeah. scissors. Now, what you can do is you can wrap some <laughs> ribbon or fabric on there, yeah. and you know that that means that only fabric shall yeah. be cut with said scissors. Yes, right. yes, I used so to borrow my some... mum's. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, so nice and nice and sharp and I yeah. like these friskers scissors they're yes. really good quality yeah so you're basically going to cut approximately a quarter of an inch you're going to follow the direction of the Kanzashi flower maker yeah. okay but don't worry about it if it's a little bit more a little bit less it, it, it's not an absolute precise science, so don't worry. Honestly, okay. it's not a problem. Yeah, okay? so it's approximate. It's an approximate. Marvellous. Right, okay. so we'll get rid of our scraps and we'll do that. That's what it looks like. Hurrah. Oh, hurrah. That's easy. That's easy enough, right? So, I've already added three on one piece okay. of string. So you get yourself a nice long length of thread. Okay. Strong thread. Okay. And you and you put on one end a really strong knot. Excellent. You know, big fat knot. Right, really strong. Big knots. fat 
Yeah, not. Right. Um, and then, because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be loading six, seven, eight, nine petals onto the one length. So is you that don't making make them, one petal? That makes one petal. Right, You're okay. not making it in each individual petal and then sewing them together. You're loading them all onto one string. OK. OK? Yeah. So we're going to get our needle, and I've got a nice needle here. Right. OK. So we are going to start at where it says start. That's good. It's as simple as that. I like that. I like simple things. Yeah, me too. Right, so you're going to put your needle in at number one where it says start. You're always going from front to back, from back to front. You're okay. never going to go over like that. Right. Because you need to be able to open it up afterwards. Yeah. Okay, that okay? makes sense. So we've gone one and in. So now if I flip it over, I'm going to pull it through, okay, and I need to go to two. There is two. Can you okay. see that? Yeah. And I'm going to put my needle in there. Going to put it into two. Okay. Let's get rid of that fabric, shall we? It's got itself cool. Oh. Hang on. And you Here can we chop go. your fabric off. Yeah, oh, fabulous. There we are. Let's just get rid of it that way. Right, so we've gone into two. Okay. okay. We flip and it you're over. Not pulling it right up to your other. Not yet. yet. I will be. Okay. So I flipped it over. I've come out at two. So I'm going to go in at three. Okay. Okay. And that's going actually in the groove. In in the groove, and I'm going to go over to four. Okay. Okay. Come out at four. Guess where I'm going next? Five. A. Hey. I'm Clever with you. Lot. Are you with I'm me? With you. I'm flipping it over. Where am I going next? I'm going to go to six. six. Okay, and it's really as simple as that. And even though it looks like it's actually um, sort of crossing over the, yeah, the petal maker, yeah. it's going to go into don't the groove worry. again, isn't Watch it? Watch what's happened. I'm going to go in at seven. Yeah. Going to come out that end, and I'm going to go in at number eight, which is the last one. Hooray. And the last one now is number eight, and it says finish. Hooray! Right, that's so fabulous. pull it through. Now, have you noticed we haven't gone over? Yeah. Okay? Yes. We've gone Front to back, front to back, like yeah. that, OK? Yeah. So then what we're going to do is we're going to unclick it. Unclick it okay. open, OK. Now, what you have here is a bunch of fabric, is a fabric folded yeah. over with some thread going this way on that yeah. side and some thread going along the edge on that side and we're going to gently pull it. That's it. OK. And then we are going to gently no. pull it to there. How cool! And that <gasps> is it. Oh, no way! Seriously, that is it. I and like you just that a lot. keep loading as many petals on as you want. And then you, I always think that um, it, however many it tells you to do in the instructions, do a couple more. Because yeah. it's easier to have more on there because it bunches up easy. So you then put as many as you want on there. And then you basically, where have we got one? We've got a string of them here. So what happens is you've got them all, you've loaded them on, you put them into a circle like that. OK, a little bit fiddly, but don't worry about it. You get a, then another piece of string, tie a good knot into it, and you go around ah, on the yes. inside to hold that in place with just some running stitches, and you are done. Because if I find one, I did see what... Ah, there. Yep, there see, you go. So you can see the back of it. Yeah. So that's how you... Uh, and that, but you would and it hide that. Matter, yeah. No, you would... Yeah. Don't worry about that. No yeah, one's going to see the back. Yeah, because you've hid all the backs of the others. all you'll do is you'll put a piece of fabric or felt over the back of it and you're yeah. done. Now, each one of them is different. Look at all the different, the different shapes of Kanzashi flower makers we've got. They're cool. OK, each one of them gives a different shaped petal. Yeah. Okay? And do they do different sizes They then? do different sizes. They're small and large. Right, OK. the same thing. So, obviously, that's your large oh, one. That's a, yeah, and then that's the small one. Marvellous. Now, each one has a different shape. And I've just got the individual shape here. Look, this is the large circular one. I haven't got this on me at the moment. Okay. But exactly the same principle. You'll find a start number one, a finish number eight, and you do the one through, one, two, three, four, all the way through. Yeah. But with this one, if I pull that thread, you get oh, that shaped petal. Which is like that one, is yeah. it? Uh, where did or come? is it like that one. that one? That's it. But so you can have it this oh, way. Yeah. But equally, if I turned it over, 
It looks just as pretty oh, that yes, way. Yes, it does. I so like it really those. doesn't matter which you way you do it. You could have things, couldn't you? Could, you? Absolutely, it would look as lovely with ribbon. As long as it's thick enough to as actually sit it's, in there. Yeah, you couldn't put a corduroy fabric in. Yeah. I think you would struggle with a velvet fabric. You right, need okay. slightly thinner fabrics yeah. because you need to be able to pull it yeah. or you'd need a really strong piece of thread. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So those are your kanzashi. Now in terms of yo-yo makers, which is um, what the Americans call Suffolk puffs, it's exactly the same thing. You have, you clip that open, you put a piece of fabric in there, okay, and then you go front and back it with it, see these grooves yeah. they're not numbered you literally just go front back front back front back all the way around and then you unclick it pull it tight and then you've got and then you've one got of the little one puffs. of these one of these they're there they're on the whoopsie Whoopsie -daisy. they're on the quilt sorry love yeah, it's all right oh they're fab can i have a go at making a can cans of course you can darling <laughs> right can <laughs> If you say it like that, you can get away with it. Can <laughs> No, you can't, apparently. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right. Okay, okay, so just make sure what you want to do is just tuck it down a little bit so you, it, you know it's in the corners. That's it. Excellent. Perfect. So, now that's so, come, so just click um, it back in. So obviously the, um, the, folded, the folded edge, edge is, is right next to the folded groove. part of the piece of plastic. Superb. Make sure it's all tucked up. Tucked up nice and neat, nice and tidy. And then you go around about a quarter of an inch ish. Yeah. This is Leonie actually being not really knowing what a quarter of an inch looks like. So it looks it's about fine, yeah, that. about that. That's really all you need to worry about. about Marvellous. Okay. Right, here we go. Here Needle. we go. Okay. Take oh, that. how very exciting. So you start, find, start So we've got a knot, but one. we're okay. We don't need a knot because we've got we'd, our petals already. Yeah. So that's good. So I just need to look for start, which is there. So number one. So I'll go in at the front, out to the back. <laughs> it's number two. Bring it about there. Yes. I it. suppose it doesn't matter, does it? Then to there. That's it. Oh, this is easy peasy. I shouldn't say... Okay, and then number four. Hold on, bear with. I don't want to get on my thread. Oh, 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 oh. There, like that. That's it. I don't think I'm tying any knots no, yet. You're doing well, darling. There, and then five. Doesn't it make it really rather easy because it's all numbered? So six, and then to seven. I like this. This is the quickest thing I think yeah. I've ever made in my whole life. Wow, I'm giving up that card making. <laughs> 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 giving up that card making, my little kid. I'm making Kanzashi flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so pop it up. Yep. And, and then. One, each side. So both sides are together. Yep, right. Now start pushing it towards the other flower. That's it. It's really as simple as that. Uh, that's it. That's Fabulous, it. isn't it? Yep. I'm never making a card again. Perfect. In my whole life. And you just load as many of them yeah. on there as you want. That's easy. Make it into a circle and then tie it in. That's easy. Easy peasy. That, that's what everyone's getting for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Kansashi flowers. Oh, my poor little nephew. He's going to have Kansashi <laughs> flower bunting. <laughs> That'd be lovely. <laughs> that's so cool. I'm so really you can use scraps of fabric. Yeah. So you've got this tiny little diddy one, but look how little you need if I open that up. I am I like this a lot. It's great, isn't it? Because I have got a lot of fabric because I've obviously been collecting fabric since I were very young. So literally, that's too much fabric because you'd My be wasting words, you're too really much. Using scraps. So you fold it down again. See the instructions will say cut it into this size square and oh I can't yeah. be bothered with all that. Just too do much it dead easy. Just just go with the flow. Here we go. That'll do. You're not wasting yeah. too much fabric. That's that's barely anything. That's just a little. Yeah. The, you get two out of that. That's fabulous. Because you could you could put that you could repeat that there, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm you get to it. Brilliant for yep. scraps. Yeah, you've um, we've all got plenty of scraps. Yeah, I that is so, brilliant. Um, yeah. Great ray of recycling. Um, brilliant. Obviously, these are, are fabulous for for making, as we said, like your jewellery. But it yeah. can be embellishing oh, anything. You can embellish cards with it. You can embellish yeah. wall hangings and quilts and yeah. jumpers and all sorts. Absolutely and there's not, everything. There's flowers that shape. 
and there's hearts as well. Beautiful. So, so you can even do so little yeah, that it's and it's exactly the same principle. That's brilliant. I you love follow it. the numbers back and front. Don't ever go. You, what you don't ever want to yeah. do is go over it that and way. And then you'll never be able to then pop it out. You can't out. pop it that's open brilliant. and pull it out. That's, yeah. that's it. I'm with you. I'm with you. Simple. That's easy piece of pudding yeah. pie. We like simples. Simples. Like it. We like it. Uh, right, we're going to remind you exactly what we've been doing. Um, if, you, if you need reminding, there you go. So I can zash your flowers. You you're taking a long piece of thread, knotting at one end, take your fabric, cut into a small square piece and fold in half. Um, open the flower maker, tuck the fabric in, you click it shut and then trim off the excess. Follow the numbers on the flower maker uh, with the needle and thread and obviously front to back, front back to front. You then unclick the flower maker to reveal your first petal. Repeat the process over and over again to get more petals, loading each one to the thread as you go. Make a circle with the thread and then tie off to create your beautiful Kanzashi flower. Um, absolutely gorgeous. That's our first two lessons done. Um, we've got more though. We've got our fabulous pom-pom maker. Um, really easy and of course another one that you can adorn everything. Uh, this is Craft Academy. <laughs> Hello, okay, so we've covered crochet, we've done Kanzashi flowers, uh, next pom-poms. Uh, we're going to show you exactly how to do pom-poms and how ridiculously easy they are, however you want to use them. Okay, <laughs> our Julie, let's get pom-pom making. Shall we? Yeah, let's. Excellent. Let's. So we've got uh, what all sorts of sizes, so we've got baby Bubba, 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 oh, bubba, tiny weeny, and then it just goes up in in sizes, and then it goes like that. Okay, and so the daddy of the, the pom poms. Daddy of the pom poms. And Superb. As simple as this. So you've got this is actually two pieces, and we're going to take them apart soon. Okay. But you'll see that you have these clips here. Okay. Yeah. And they're on both sides, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull them open like that. Okay. And we're going to pull them open like that. So what we're aiming for is that you have two left arms and two right arms. Excellent. Okay? It's yeah. as simple as that. And in the middle, you've got the join. Okay? So uh -huh. what we are going to do is, what we what the plan is, is that we're going to wrap the yarn around this half moon shape. Okay. Okay? And you don't yeah. have to worry about it in any particular way. So it doesn't matter how much yarn, really. I suppose well, the more, the, you, more... the more you load onto it, the fluffier yeah. the ball will be. So if you don't if you don't put enough yarn, you've got a skinny a little pom-pom. skinny pom. little pom-pom. That's don't right. That. And literally that. <laughs> also a great way of using up your odd yes. bits of yarn. Yeah. Really good way of doing it. And all I'm doing, literally, is getting my yarn end, holding it down with my thumb, okay, and I'm going to just, I've engaged it there so that it's, it holds it in, and I'm literally, let's just put the yarn on the floor, and I'm this going to... This is when it's really good if you've got a cat. Oh, it would drive, I have I have six cats and it would drive have them. You? Yeah, I am oh. the mad cat lady. I love them. They're my Oh my babies. word! I bet they love you. Oh, they're brilliant. I bet and they I've, love you anyway. Well, but I'm, the fact that... <laughs> yeah, I've trained them to the word up because they have a habit of lying in doorways and I can't walk over them. I can't bunny hop over them. Yeah, no. So I'm like. Up. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise... And then they move out the way. <laughs> otherwise that could be really <laughs> yeah, nasty, couldn't it? could it? be painful. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I've trained them to the word up. So literally, all I'm doing is I'm winding it around. Yeah. Right. It's dead easy. It's really as simple as that. Now, so I'm obviously, just winding it round. Because you've got different sizes, yeah. you could use these for, for anything, oh, couldn't loads. you? Oh, loads. And with these bubble ones, with the tiny ones, you could use embroidery thread. Yeah. You could yeah. use really thin stuff. And, oh, it would look so dainty yeah. and so pretty. And I think of ribbons, because there's loads of beautiful oh, ribbons yeah. you could use. And Gorgeous. you could use all your scrap ribbons as well, couldn't oh, you? you? This is a great way of using up your bits of yarn and your scrap ribbons yeah. and all sorts. And jute, I love, um, like, you know, your, oh, yeah, your like jute your rat material. Prep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and string and stuff. I bet string, I wonder what that'd look like. I don't know, we should give it a go. We should give it a go. So literally all I'm going to do is just clip the end. And again, don't worry about it. Okay. Don't need to stress about it. There you and go. And when you clip and you it fold back it. in, yeah. that keeps everything... Just keeps it together neatly. Perfect. Don't worry about the fact that that's going to unravel a little bit because we're yeah. going to just tuck it out. We're going to cut it soon anyway. Marvellous. Let me just grab the yarn. <laughs> Do you manage? Yeah, got, got it. 
Have I got the end? Yeah, here we go. I got one end, love. Right, so I'm going to do the identical thing. Do you want to do that? No. No, you're happy you for me do to do it? Yeah. Okay, so Unless, we're going to do yeah. exactly the same thing. I'm going to engage the short end, okay? And I'm going to bring it in and over so it kind of holds it in place. Okay. And then I'm literally going to wrap. Try not to do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. If you do, just unravel it and... Um, reapply it i do like these because once upon a day like obviously when you were kids I, it used to be cardboard didn't it yeah it did and when you got into actually having to cut it out you'd shopped into cardboard it were really annoying <laughs> and also because you had to get your ball wall through yeah, the center of it it was it hard just wasn't yeah. it and yeah. then you could only do one or two balls from it but yeah. with this is you could just go on and yeah. on and on and on and you could i mean you could decorate a christmas tree yeah. with it you yeah. could make garlands with it yeah. i mean there's so I much you can seen, do. I have seen a Christmas tree made out of pom poms. Oh, but that Did you? Oh, I can't. Yeah, it was a charity one, and I think it was. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, but it was a charity one, and because obviously they feel so good, you know, I think it were people with sight issues. So obviously because oh, so it's got the, the texture the and the feel. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's it. I mean, they do feel fabulous. Um, think about the way. Like we've we've put one on a little cushion there, which looks lovely. But I've used them, you know, for home decor, and I've yep. put lights in them, and that looks oh, really I bet cool. That's it looks really cool, really nice. Okay, so right. you've squidged it up. Then we cut ourselves a length, and I've got a bit of a blue Peter moment here because I mm. cut it, it previously. So you cut yourself a decent length. <laughs> one you did okay, earlier. Here's one I did earlier, and um, literally all you're going to do next is. Can you see those were the two leaves? Yes. I mentioned earlier, there's a groove in it. It would be better to show you that way. There's a groove in there, look. Can you uh, see yeah. that groove? Yeah. Right. All I'm doing is literally taking my scissors, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to cut. And your your scissors will hit that groove. Yeah. Yeah. So you just follow that groove around, right? Doesn't it make it easy? It makes it really easy. See, these are airs for using with kids. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, really nice for using with children. Flip and over and you're going to do exactly the same thing, OK? You're literally you going to go the, along the groove. The most cost-effective yarn as well. Oh, you know, yeah, if, you, if you're doing things for... Yarn. And I love it. I've seen um, when they've been sewn together and made into, like, um, rugs and things. Oh, I bet that's nice. Mm, pom -pom you'd, gonna, rugs. you'd want to take your socks off, wouldn't you, and just yeah, run your just feet through. Just it. Again, the cats would love that. No, oh, they really wouldn't last <laughs> five minutes in my house. No, they wouldn't. Right, so we've got our extra yarn, Super. OK? And we're going to put it into that groove. Literally, we're just going to sit it in the groove and we're going to pull it through to the other side. Excellent. OK? And pull it tight. Ooh. Yeah. So and this then, keeps all them little fibres together, together, doesn't it? So we're going to tie a knot, OK? And we're going to pull it into the centre. OK. And at some point, I mean, you, you've got to pull it tight because otherwise it'll all fall apart. Yeah. But you don't want to pull it too tight that you snap your yarn. Yeah. OK? Yeah. Then I, I do three knots. I've made the mistake of do, doing one and two and it's just not enough and it falls apart. Yeah. So I flip it over and I do another knot. Yeah. OK? And you know, they're pretty over. sturdy as well, yeah. aren't they? And I do a lot, and that's my last knot. I haven't got a particularly long bit of string here. You probably want a longer bit of string so that you've got something to yeah. hold, uh, yank it onto and hold it onto and sew it on. And yeah. um, if you can see, we've got a length here. I've got a long bit of string. Yeah. And that's quite useful because it means you've got all that working area to yes. tie it on to whatever yeah. you need to and tie it on. And obviously, if you've got a project in mind, you'll, yeah, you'll, you'll obviously know what you want that. to do. Yeah. So do you remember we flipped those open before with those tabs? We're going to do exactly the same. Marvelous. You're going to flip that side, then you're going to turn it over. And you're going to flip that side. OK? Cool. So you're opening up the left arm and the right arms again. Yeah. OK? And then you're literally going to grab hold of the two grey creamy central section and you're going to pull it apart. Super. OK? And what you've got is... One side has the pin on it. Yeah. The other one has the hole for the pin. Yeah. So you literally put it back together again like that. Fab. Yeah. And you're ready to rock and roll. Yay! That's it. Now, you get hold of your lovely pom pom, and you kind of fluff, fluff it up a little bit. Bob's your own right. Nose. And then you give it a little snippy poos here and a little bit of snip there, yeah. just to make it all even. <laughs> That's the bit of string. Okay, so you give it a little bit of a haircut and there you've got 
a lovely pom -pom. In seconds. Done. S seconds. Dead easy. They are dead easy. Dead easy. And I must admit, because I made some for my shoes and they lasted a full party night. Did they? Yes, dancing and everything to Brilliant. the prodigy. So I know <laughs> these they, are they pretty lost. strong. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I actually had to cut them off. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. I've had such a good time. Good, me too. Really, really chuffed. Um, thank you to Julie, obviously, for joining us at our Craft Academy. Um, I'm going to run you through your step-by-step -step how to make a pom-pom dead easy uh, first of all you open the the second left and the set and the two sorry uh, the two left and the two right ar um, arms of the pom-pom maker you wrap your yarn around the left arms uh, when you've got enough of the yarn on there tuck the left arm back into place and then repeat for the right side arms uh, once it's done you've tucked them both into place you then cut a piece of yarn about eight inches to ten inches long get a pair of scissors cut along the central groove you then slot the yarn that's the the extra bit that you've cut into the groove and tie into two knots maybe three just in case open the pom-pom maker so it's that cream part of the pom-pom maker you open that up and there is your pom-pom give it a little shake give it a little trim and you've got a perfect pom-pom how exciting is that so we have learnt in this hour. Uh, first of all, we did the crochet. We didn't, then did those flowers, <laughs> the Kandashi flowers. Yay, Kandashi, oh, one day. Uh, so we learned crochet. Um, all the different types of, of hooks, all the different yarns that we could, that we could do. Um, how to tie in the loose ends to make it nice and neat. And of course, making granny squares. We learned how to do them. Fabulous Kansashi flowers, ridiculously easy. We then learned how to do our beautiful pom-poms. Step-by-step guide on making the perfect pom-pom. Um, everything. We ticked all the boxes in an hour. Julie, thank you ever so much thank indeed. You. I've really thank you enjoyed. for having me. That's been really my first academy it. and I've loved it. I've loved it too. Good, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you for Julie. having me. Um, everybody, uh, what you want to do now is look out for more craft academies. We do try and teach you as much as we can. Obviously, as you know, we get the best tutors. Um, so, watch out for them. Make sure you can learn something brand new. There's always so much to learn um, within the craft industry. So enjoy it, have fun, and we'll see you again. Happy crafting.